today we are going to discuss the chemistry of one simple three membered heterocyclic compound azirity okay before starting the discussion let me discuss what you mean by heterocyclic compound so heterocyclic compounds are the cyclic compound containing one or more hetero atoms okay the hetero atoms for example nitrogen oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium okay based upon the size of the cyclic uh, compounds these systems are classified into different heterocyclic compounds okay so today we will discuss one of the important three membered heterocyclic compound that is aziridine aziridine is a three membered heterocyclic compound with one nitrogen atom so it is a colorless water soluble poisonous liquid therefore we have to be careful whenever handling this aziridine because it is a poisonous liquid so this ring this ring is present in several natural products okay that we will discuss that we that you can see in the next slide and also it has got very wide range of applications in different fields such as pharmaceuticals agrochemicals polymers okay so let us see some of the molecules which contains aziridine ring in alcohol in natural products as and also in some drug candidates so this is the structure of aziridine so three membered with one nitrogen atom okay this is the structure of one of the natural product called mitomycin it is an anti cancer agent so these are the two compounds containing aziridine ring so as you can see in the first compound we have two aziridine rings and in second compounds we have three aziridine rings and these compounds are now in the clinical stage clinical stage as they are screened for their anti leukemic activities it means that these are the anti cancer agents now let us move on our let us discuss the synthesis of this aziridine molecules okay the first method is the gabriel ring closure method okay this involves the reaction of a beta haloamines using alkali hydroxide here the beta haloamines is treated with alkali hydroxide these are the base to give aziridine molecule you can see in the equation see here the chlorine atom is present at the beta with respect to the amino group that is treated with sodium hydroxide the first the base will abstract one of the proton from the amino group so that you will get nh minus and that nh minus will attack the carbon bearing halogen atom resulting in the formation of aziridine so let us discuss the second method this is the wenker aziridine synthesis okay here the treatment of beta amino alcohol in the previous reaction we have used beta halo amines here beta amino alcohols are treated with strong acid that is the sulfuric acid to give beta amino ethyl sulfate esters okay and these sulfate ester further okay in the subsequent steps treated with base to afford aziridine so you can see in the reaction okay first one is the beta amino alcohol so amino group is present at beta position with respect to the oh that is treated with sulfuric acid so first oh will react with the sulfuric acid at the same time amino group will protonate so that you will get beta amino ethyl sulfate ester okay now we have a sulfate ester which is a very good leaving group now this compound upon treatment with sodium hydroxide the first base will abstract that proton from the nh3 plus subsequently that nh minus will attack the carbon bearing that sulfate ester to give aziridine as the product okay this reaction is called as wenker aziridine synthesis okay now let us move on to the another important method for the synthesis of this aziridine is the thermal reactions of azides with alkene so this is a 13 dipolar cyclo addition reaction okay so here the azides which are 13 dipoles will react with alkenes to give 1 2 3 triazolines okay and this upon heating okay this this 1 2 3 triazolines upon heating will losses a molecule of nitrogen 
to effort one phenyl aziridine so we can see the reaction here the first molecule is the azide okay that is treated with the alkene having two substitution at the terminal carbons okay this is a 1 3 dipolar cycloaddition reaction of azide with the alkene to give 1 2 3 triazole where first nitrogen is first nitrogen contains a phenyl ring okay now this 1 2 3 triazoline upon heating will losses a molecule of nitrogen and subsequently it will rearrange to form a 1 phenyl aziridine so this is a very important reaction okay important method for the preparation of aziridine molecules okay so this with so we have discussed three methods for the preparation of aziridines there are several methods but these are the very important methods for the preparation of aziridine molecule so aziridine as you can as you have seen it is a three membered ring so therefore it is a strain system and it has lot of strain in that molecule okay therefore it will undergo different reactions now let us discuss some of the important reactions of aziridine molecule the first is the acid base reaction so here in the aziridine molecule the unsubstituted aziridine it means that the free nh okay which does not contain any substitutions behaves as secondary amines it means that it behaves like a secondary amine okay if one substitution is present at the nitrogen atom it behaves as a tertiary amine so amines always will ready to react with the whenever when, when when those are treated with acid they will undergo protonation similarly here also aziridine when they are treated with strong acids okay they will undergo protonation to give aziridinium salt okay once they form aziridinium salt okay after reacting with acid if they form once they form aziridinium salt they are unstable they are highly unstable they tend to release their strain or they will undergo ring opening reaction okay so you can see equation here the aziridine when they are treated with acid they will form aziridinium salt okay this aziridinium salt is highly unstable okay now let us move on to the second reaction that is the reactions with nucleophiles okay so as we have discussed in the first reaction the aziridinium salt okay once they form aziridium salt they are highly unstable they tend to release their strain okay by opening the ring okay here in the second second reaction where nucleophiles will react with the aziridinium okay aziridine molecule okay so that three membered ring will undergo ring opening reaction this is one of the very important reaction of three membered heterocyclic systems not only aziridine thiurane oxirane also undergo similar kind of reactions okay once they are treated with nucleophiles they will undergo ring opening reaction you can see here so for example the nucleophile such as ammonia and primary amines reacts with aziridine to give one to diamines so this is the aziridine reaction of aziridine with ammonia to give one to diamine and this is the reaction of aziridine with primary amines to give a substituted 1 to diamines okay so therefore by today we have discussed the preparation and reactions of the simplest three membered heterocyclic system aziridine it's a very important heterocyclic system so a lot of research is going on around the world in the chemistry field okay to explore the importance of aziridine molecule in drug as well as in agrochemical industry as well as in polymer industry therefore it is a very important heterocyclic system which has several applications in different fields thank you